Hi guys, it's Mark from AnyPond.com, your trusted resource in the UK for ponds and water features. And today what I'm doing is I'm shooting a quick video about trying to combat green water or single cell. I've had a viewer send me in a question via email. Let me get this read out to you now so you know the back history of the reason why I'm shooting this video. I Here have goes. a pond but the water is green. I have a filter attached to the pond. I have a water lily and a bulrush plant and I have six small koi fish. The filter is on three hours in the morning and three hours in the evening. The filter is always dirty within a few days of cleaning it. Can you give me any hints or tips on how to get my water clear? Thanks. Well, the first thing that I would say is basically the pond's not really big enough for koi. Even small ones, they're going to outgrow the pond very quickly. They're very hungry and dirty fish koi and your pond's not big enough. So what I would first of all do is say to you um, is to substitute those fish, those koi, with some goldfish. That would be the first tip that I would give. But certainly it's a case of while they are small and while you're trying to rehome them, what you can do is basically turn your green pea soup pond, if you like, into a nice crystal clear pond that you can live with. You said about your filtration system and you said about a UV. Well, certainly a UV system will um, sterilise the system um, because basically radiation is chemical filtration and what it does is it sterilises anything that comes into contact with the radiation for long enough, basically. So... There's a bit of a, um, a hint. You're saying that you're running the filter system for three hours in the morning and three hours in the evening. That's just not long enough. I'm, I'm, it's, it's, just, it's not long enough, I'm afraid. The reason why it's not long enough is because it gives it a break for the other 18 hours of the day or day and night. It's having a break from that UV um, radiation. So certainly it's a case of the first thing I would do is run the filter systems 365 days a year and 24-7. Yes, the filter system might get blocked up quickly because you're trying to get rid of the backlog of nutrients. If you've got a, a big layer of sludge in the bottom, then I would actually recommend that you wet dredge your pond. And when I mean wet dredge, that's a full drain and clean. So that's where you take out all the mature water, the fish, the plants and everything out of the system and you keep it safe, and then you basically get rid of the sludge, get rid of the organic matter, get rid of that nutrient-rich soil or sludge on the bottom of the pond, and then put the nutrient-rich or pond water back in. It's, it's still going to be nutrient-rich, but you'll be able to process it very easily. So the first thing to do is to run the filter system all the time. If you've got a great big amount of waste in the bottom, is do a full drain and clean. That's wet dredging. Also, there's a, a product that you can put in, which is biological products, which is bacteria breaking down and digesting that nutrients. So there's a whole thing about um, that you can do to, to bring your water back clear. One, I would substitute the fish. Two, I would run your filters 24 hours a day because also that what happens is when the filter system gets switched off, you're cutting the, the oxygen-rich water supply. So after 20 minutes, half of the bacteria in the filter is actually, believe it or not, is dead. And if you're not allowing it to run for four to six weeks, you're not letting that bacteria Connolly actually um, live in the filter system because you're only allowing it for three hours and then it's switched off and then three hours in the evening and it's switched off. So you've not really got... Uh, any biological filtration whatsoever you've only got a little bit of mechanical filtration which is good um, but certainly I would try and get the beneficial bacteria get that bacteria to digest and break down that waste also I would add more plants as well because then that gives mother nature something to do with that excess nutrient load because let's say you use the UV um, filtration you're still going to have excess nutrients in the water and you'll still have algae issues, whether it's filamentous algae um, or whether it's, 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 it's something else. You basically need to give the, the Mother Nature something to use up that nutrients. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the email. I love um, audience participation. And thank you all for watching and hope you learned something. And more importantly, hope you go away and do something with the advice. Thanks for watching. My name is Mark, anypond.com.